What is up, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and to me. I'm back. I was sick and a little bit in the hospital, but we're we're okay. We're gonna try this out. I'm incredibly light sensitive right now, which is why I got the weird clip-ons on. And we're gonna see what, what's up going on here in Valentine. I hope to God this does not make me motion sick. Because I have not played video games Now, you see, week. Helen, Acri here is a silly boy. And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee uh, that these a man two again. a face into. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash him. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh, oh, this is gonna be bad. Come on. Do I just come well, forward? I'll be damned. <laughs> you really walloped him. Ah, yikes! I'm fine. Come on! Okay. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Good. I like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey, hit me again! Right here! Right here! You sure? Ooh. Ugh! Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. All right, give me all right. Your worst. If you want it, I will give Here it to I you. Here I stand. Ugh. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Well, there's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the man. Oh no. Oh no, oh, dear sir. Lord. Minor made. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's My see how turn. well you fare. Oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen? Uh, yes, uh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Okay. <laughs> Those two are crazy. They're insane. But at least we're close to a uh, another objective. Where's my horse? Where'd he go? Up we go. It's weird how everything looks a little bit hazy, but that's probably because the game is both early in the morning right now, and I don't think these things on the glasses are completely clean. Easy, boy. Alright, let's get out of town. Go see about eagle flies, I think it was. Yeah. Got it. Oh, come on. He seemed pretty close by on the map. Hello, sir. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. 
His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'm gonna take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, okay. you could climb into the back of that wagon. Ideally. Won't need any help, but... Hold to activate cinematic camera. Not as well armed as anybody. train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. And we're in. Probably should have brought the bow in here. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Come on, Mr. Danbury. Let's have a chat. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. Uh. You're not from head office. 
Yes, I am. Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Come on. Danbury. Think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Go on, get it. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Have a good night. Okay, reinforcements are here. Time to get moving. Okay. Time to get out of here. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. I'm on your tail. to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. All right. Home free. So, oh, oh shit, I got gold. Sweet. Oh, there's there was something else around here. That what the hell is that? Oh, that's the Russian guy. Huh. Well, you know what? We've been to Annisburg before, so why don't we actually go up there and see? And then we can take a, uh, take a carriage down to, uh, what, what, shit, Sandini. And I've got a letter. Something I can open up at Annisburg. They do have mail there, right? Yeah. 
because they have a train station. Okay, let's stop off and get the mail first. Let me see, is that quest marker still there? It's not, what the hell? Is it only a specific time of, time of day? What? I don't, I don't really see. Well, hello again. Oh, second invitation to the mayor's. Thanks for your assistance. Here I am. Let's go, boy. Alright, let's... Hmm. Maybe we can wait outside a shop and... Good morning. Good morning. Morning to you. Must be new around here. Welcome. Everything is here in the catalog. Just make a selection, and I can bring it out for you to eat. All right. I'd like a room, please. Well, let's just bunk down for a couple hours and see what happens. Well, this is a small one. So let's see. It's back. Okay, so we can only do that at night then. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. Or if I have, I haven't paid it any attention. Yep, yep. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some of the natural light came back in. Why do I do that? That never helps. You okay, boy? Also a very wild country, so I might as well pull out a gun. Ah! Oh my god. You okay? You can get up? Oh, about. Oh, his yep. health isn't even down. Can't help him, he's dead. Wow. 
What? Oh wow, four gold teeth. Yeah. I do not like this music. It's 2 a.m. and I think we're almost to where we need to be. Legendary hunt territory. Yeah. Easy there. Oh god. Easy. Oh god. Yeah. I couldn't see what it was. Yeah. And it's following us. Is it locked? Due to my recent actions, what happened? I just ran from like a bear or something. See if it comes back. Okay, it's back. I don't know what the hell that was about, but let's see. Get, mount up, thank you. Yep. in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> it's the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. It's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> there is just... One more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Not a you fan of that, have but the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductor. Follow okay. flashes up in hill and plant conductor rod where filament blows solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod. And we harness. 
Oh dear God, he's trying to resurrect something? There we go. Okay, now find the position for the second conductor. Why are you speaking so slow? Okay, so it's this one. You're doing a bang up job. Remember, this is for the good of all mankind. Okay. You're better than my last assistant. I hope you'll live longer, too. Oh, dear God. So it's this way. I just kind of need to work my way around. Jesus. I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> what now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Am I missing something? The switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. Okay, he's trying to get Arthur killed. I don't see a ladder. Oh, it's in the middle. I think. The switches are on a circuit. Click one switch on the array, and another might go off. You want the three illuminations, so click the switches till that is the outcome. Just tell me. Uh, it's one of these. 
Okay. It's just a giant Tesla coil outside. Shit's terrifying and dangerous, but okay. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Watch. Second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Okay. Well, he made a robot. And that was cool. Almost pointless, but cool. All right, let's go back down to San Denis. We're just gonna fast travel there. I'm so glad I discovered that. Okay. Are you slow? Was he only at night too? Well, let's see. Oh, the professor's gone too. Well, no, he's here. Well, let's see. Wait, what did I do? Hold on a second. Pardon? Your problem. Can I? You made your point. Hey, just fooling around here. You a lot of hot air. That uh, idiot. That was strange. Good morning, you, sir. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the professor's back, and so is Charles. Oh. 
Alms for the blind. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare for a blind man? Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. Okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Off we go. Finally got the execution set up. Sorry, sorry. Welcome man. one, welcome Just all I mean. to this excellent demonstration of my most. <laughs> there, there. You're going to be in a better place. Uh, stay calm, uh, breathe deep, and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence! In incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! Jesus Christ. Oh, get up. They don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Oh my god. Someone help. Goes to show is, is, is he al is he alive? No, he's he's dead now. I think he actually ever paid me. Oh my god! Alright, and Charles is literally just around the corner, so let's uh let's go see what he's up to. Upstairs? show if that's possible okay what's this show then mr. Charles Chatternay go and see for yourself but don't blame me okay I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all just wait until you see his work it's very progressive Hi there. I'm very sure how I, feel about I think just wish today was over that it's great already. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Or could be wrong. That's far too modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here in her 
delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch. You filthy little man. Oh, oh. come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. Oh right. boy. Okay. It's about to pop off. What the hell? I didn't mean to pick you up. Did they not bring any money? Oh, he's over there. Okay, I'm coming. Let's go! This show is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Why did you invite the people you painted? In the 1890s, it'd be different if it was like... This way, this way, Any time past that. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring! No, it wasn't. Uh, it was not. Archdest people, push them! I thought I was a fraud, a no-talent brush washer! Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. <laughs> now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> oh my god. This man. Here's a alleyway. <sighs> All right, now let's head over to. I think this is the one, the saloon with the inn in it. Please. Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Horse with him for me, please. Oh, what? So, what will it be? I didn't pay for anything. You got any rooms? Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. Please. Can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up. Good morning. Oh, no, Mr. the stairs. So if the mayor's missions can only be seen at night too, we'll sleep and uh, see what's up. Morning, dear. How are you, my love?
it's back. Take care. Au revoir. I can see you following me, naughty boy. I'm just used to coming here regularly. You're on the way of the stairs. You move. This year, I don't know what's going on. Ah, apologies. Why are no, you no, no, doing no, no. this? We don't treat folk like that here in San Denis. No big Do thing, just a exactly bit of fun. Say, and you'll be <sighs> Fool. Oh my god. No, no, no! Ma chérie, s'il te plaît. I couldn't draw my gun in time, oh my god. again looks like it Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Ah, uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty-minded pragmatist like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you, but it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh, <laughs> against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man, and he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. Okay. You got a target? and just the mere threat of violence.
Where is he at? Oh, I see him. Let's see there. Red stage coach out in the bayou. Don't board the stage coach. Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige, sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... The mayor? The mayor is a crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Okay. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear. They say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. <clears throat> As you work, drive on. Okay. Oh my god. Out of the damn world. Yeah. Well, holy shit. I think Arthur has made his charismatic debut. Yeah, we didn't get that far from town. Say return to the mayor's office? I guess not. Okay. Well, we'll uh, return to camp then. And see what Sadie's up to. Horseman Apocalypse. Sadie needs to speak to you. Okay, well. Uh, we'll do that when we return. So I thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for joining me. And when we return, we'll help out Sadie. See what's up. See how... All this handles out. Nah, uh, thanks so much. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in a moment. Mm -hmm.